last year of 2017, I didn't really like give you guys a lot of information about my game, but I want to kind of talk about it now, like what my process was in 2017. So in 2017, I kind of took a, a step back and wanted to polish the game engine, wanted to polish the tiles, wanted to get everything ready, combos and you know, uh, palettes and everything like that, and actually make a, like a, you know, fine tune the tile set and scripts and stuff like that uh, before I go like, you know, 100% into my game. Um, even though I like already created level one and like uh, I was you know I was in the middle of making level two and and uh, I kind of because I redid level two in a different way but I may actually redo it again that's another story anyways I kind of went back because I wanted to make sure that everything that's in the game is polished and it's balanced uh, one thing with Hero of Dreams was you know I was learning on on my way up so like you could definitely see like like where I picked up some some things. I tried to introduce some, um, I went back and tried to add them, but you could kind of tell the level design wise that like I didn't have that knowledge at the time, whereas like the, the later levels have more advanced things. So I want this one, this game to have like a, like a streamline, everything kind of makes sense, it's all balanced. That's where my focus is and that's the reason why I wanted to kind of take 2017 to kind of fine tune stuff. Um, so in the beginning of the year, I went through all the tiles, I added uh, a whole bunch of dungeon um, tiles and, uh, and finished the overworld tiles like so I can have like a different um, like swamp, um, the ice, uh, you know, snow, desert, um, volcan volcanic areas and uh, uh, cloud areas. Like I, I, I created a whole bunch of tiles and, test and tested them to make sure that they work with, uh, uh, with my look and feel. And I, I think it turned out great. Uh, putting it to the combo pages, I know I'm speaking like really Latin with some people that don't use Zelda Classic, but bear with me, I'll get to the points right now. But I, I worked on the combos, uh, which is how you grab, the, um, how you put them in the game. And there is like 250 uh, some pages of combos. Organization wise, I, I took it all the way to 250 combo pages. I don't know what the heck I was thinking, but it took freaking forever to get all those tiles on there. So like, I really hope, because I, I want to release the tile set for you guys to make your own game out of my tile set, uh, but I want to release the game first, but I wanted it to be kind of organized so that when I do uh, release it to you guys, you guys have that. The only thing is I know a lot of people are going to be like, there is way too much things in there. But that's going to be like a you know a note. Please use if you if you know Zelda Classic well. Um, but yeah, I got I got all the tiles ready. I got all the combos. Uh, got the you know doors to work and stuff like that. And then my big focus was uh, the the palettes. That was my next thing. And I made different um, looks um, and feels for different occasions and stuff like that. Um, and there's literally probably and I'm not kidding like probably about 80 to 90 different palettes that I made um, I, w I did go overboard because I'm not going to use all of them but I wanted to make sure that they were all there and they're all working with like the transparent water that I use because uh, that's you know as you know difficult in Zelda Classic to get transparency to work um, so yeah got all that ready and then I went into the scripts to make sure that I had all my items ready um, and all of the um, the different game mechanics that I have, like uh, the, like the link effects, like um, I totally finished that now, um, and uh, different combo styles. Um, I had like a list of things of like what I wanted in the game, and I was just gonna do them as I went along. But I actually just went through and just completed all of them. Um, so there's a lot of uh, cool little knickknacks I'm gonna be putting in the game. Um, I know I made the first area already, like the, the forest island, um, but I'm, I may go back through it and just kind of redesign it a little bit to kind of incorporate the things that I learned and uh, so that it's more user friendly with, uh, or it's just a lot more fun to uh, put those scripts in and so that you guys can play around with uh, miscellaneous stuff that don't have anything to do with the game. It's just, you know, like, hey, this is there and you could do cool stuff. That's awesome. Um, so I'll put like, you know, some stuff like that and maybe fine-tune the areas a little bit. 
Um, but that's my next thing on the list because now that I have all that stuff done, the scripts, the last thing that I made was the dialogue scripts. I am complete with that. Now that that's all done, uh, the only thing I need is enemy scripts, but I am not touching that. I'm going to have somebody else do that, uh, hopefully if they do it. Um, but the one thing that I want to, or now that the scripts are done, I am finally able to start making the game. And I met my deadline. I tried to get all that ready by January 1st. I did. And this month I started to uh, create the 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 intro path like um um because I'm redesign again I'm redesigning that entire path to get to the first level and uh and stuff like that and so I'm doing that right now but I'm actually adding the cutscenes and stuff like that and right now it's coming out beautifully I I love it I I actually I really can't wait to for you guys to see uh but that was my path of 2017 I was working a lot on my game and I know that you guys could probably tell because I wasn't releasing too many videos on YouTube um, but now now that I'm at a point where I have a lot of those things ready and I can show it because you know I already you know they're basically you know they're polished and done um, I can actually show you some stuff uh, so in 2018 uh, that's what I'm going to be doing every month I'm going to be showing you a, uh, a script or two or you know like uh, a character or an enemy or you know something about my game that will um, get you guys excited to play this game and I know I said this in another video um, but I wanted to uh, to let you know that I am going to try to shoot I'm not promising anything but I'm gonna try to shoot for this game to be released this year in 2018 um, because I, you know, scripted everything out already and, and like, I have, like, the plots of, like, wh where I need to go to, it should fall in line. The only thing is life. You know, I have a full-time 40-hour job. Um, you know, I'm married. You know, I have, like, you know, I have things to do. I can't promise. Um, but if I can't make the date, I will have a demo for you guys at the end of the year. I promise you that. So, uh, so stay tuned to my channel. This is where you'll see all of the uh, chapters of Innova um, game um, game uh, teasers and stuff like that, and uh, and also a trailer at some point this year. So stay tuned. Um, a lot of information is coming, and if you guys want to uh, keep tabs on that, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I wanted to show one thing today, just one, a uh, little teaser for something I actually created about two years ago. Um, actually, it might be two and a half years ago now that I think about it. Oh my god. You know what? It's been three years. Okay, so three years ago I scripted this um, and uh, finished the polishing um, in the beginning of 2017. Um, so it is working. It's purring like a kitten. It's awesome. Um, so let me go ahead and show you guys the minecarts. All right, so uh, the mine car. So basically, you jump on and then you ride it and then you jump off. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. No, I'm kidding. Uh, no, yeah. So basically, as you guys know, uh, this is basically something that's been in the uh, Zelda series before. Uh, but I also like, you know, you know me. I like the uh, the Donkey Kong Country series and stuff like that. So I wanted to kind of expand this a little bit more to kind of have, you know, a little bit more, uh, like, you know like variety in in the minecart um, section so 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 say for example this obviously you look at it and you're like oh my god <laughs> so so if you look right here there's branches uh, when you come to a branch if you press a look you know a different um, direction you're able to go in that direction so say for example if I was right here and I just press down so I'm only pressing down it continues going until it basically Bam, you fall and you die and you know, why, why did you do that? You needed to press left. So, so obviously, you know, you just keep on doing that and then, you know, until you get to your destination. And what's cool is basically anytime you die or anything like that, it takes you back to uh, your, uh, your midpoint um, or the last place that you had. So, bam, I hit, I hit a bad guy right there. So it brings me back to 
the last location where I started my minecart. Um, and it, it, it's it's really useful so that, you know, like for some of the stuff that I, that I want to do, like timed elements and like, you know, like having to solve puzzles on the fly when you're doing this, you know, it only takes like a half a heart of damage when you when you do this, but you know, it'll start you back to like where you were um, if you like get damaged or you you miss the what you're supposed to do so that you can continue doing it. And again, you hit it and it takes you back to uh, to the last location that you were. Really nifty. It's awesome. Um, there's a lot of cool different things that I'm not gonna show on this one, but um, I'm gonna show you one of them. So right here. Uh, this is, uh, if you look at that tile, the one that's moving over here, um, that's uh, basically, uh, it makes it go faster, the the minecart. So this could be benefit you, but it can also very much not benefit you. So say for example, uh, you know, this is the normal speed of the, of the minecart. If you keep on hitting it, oh my god. <laughs> you... You basically go like in the speed of uh, speed of light. So if you wanted to try to, you know, do this track, you better have some quick, quick reflexes. So let's go ahead and try. Oh my God! Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. Let's try one more time. It's actually kind of see, you know, cool for re replayability too. So, oh <laughs> man, I suck with this, and I'm the one that built this. All right, so let's try it again. Ah, oh, dang it! <laughs> I don't know. This is this is really cool. Um, so so yeah. So basically, oh my god. So yeah, obviously you don't want to try to go too fast because because then you might die. Like that's that's just the that's the normal um, part of life that you don't want to happen. You know. Well, anyways. I just want to show you a little bit of it, um, so uh, hopefully you guys like it. There's a lot more areas that use this minecart um, uh, situation. Um, again, like I said in one of the first episodes, I, I want to try to figure out ways of like travel, and barrels is one of them. And now you've seen the second one, which is the minecart. Uh, I don't know if it's really called a minecart because you're not really in a mine, but that's that's at least what I label it. So, anyways. That's the minecart. Thank you guys so much for watching Inside Chapters. I am really excited to show you uh, a lot more things. So again, please subscribe, thumb me, and uh, to stay uh, up to date with this uh, this game, um, Chapters of Nova. Uh, I will see you guys next time for another Inside Chapters. Later.